new fetch can be a very useful addition to your toolbox. For example, when creating a tutorial, you can show a device's specs to let your audience know what system the program is running on. Or perhaps you're just sending your screen to a friend and asking them what the problem might be and they realize you're almost out of disk space. Also, it's just perfect to round out your Linux RISE setup. So, to install new fetch on your Linux device, for example on Arch Linux, type in sudo pacman dash s new fetch. Type in your password and y and you should be good to go. For Debian based distributions like Ubuntu, use sudo apt dash get install new fetch, like it's displayed on the screen. Now you can type in new fetch in your terminal and you will see your device's details displayed on your screen. To customize the displayed information like adding new ones or changing the order of the displayed items, you will need to use the command vim tilde slash dot config slash new fetch slash config dot conf. In that file, you will see what is currently displayed and which items you can add. For clarification purposes, I will activate the CPU usage and disable the memory line. At first, I go into the editing mode via the key I. Then I will remove the hashtag on the CPU usage line and add it on the memory line. Then I press escape, colon, WQ to save the changes. Now I type in new fetch and as you can see the information changed. Now the memory line is no longer there but the CPU usage has been added. The next point of the video will be how to change the big image on the left to something you want to be there. To install your own image, create a folder where you put your desired picture. If you want to follow my guide, you will have to set your folder to tilde slash dot config slash new fetch slash pngs. As you can see, I already added it two pictures. Now we will go back into the customization file and scroll down where you will see endless options of customization you can take. But we just need the image underscore backend line and image underscore source. The backend we will change to kitty and the source we will change to the code linked in the description. You just copy the code and add it in this line. Now save the changes and type in new fetch. As you can see, your desired image is now displayed. If you type it, type it in, you can see the image is changing because the code is selecting a random image out of your folder. If you prefer the ASCII look, you could try some out with the comment new fetch dash dash ASCII underscore distro and the distro name like Kali for example and you can see what the Kali ASCII art looks like. If you want this instead of the image you just change the backend back to auto and scroll down to ASCII distro right? and change it to Kali. This to auto and this to Kali. And there you have your ASCII art. The last step of this tutorial will be to configure new fetch when you start up your terminal. Type in vim tilde dash dot bash rc and Add new fetch into this configuration. Save your changes. And now, when you start up your terminal, you will see new fetch is also getting started up. Not only can you use new fetch, but also the faster and actively maintained fast fetch, which has roughly the same functionality. 
If you want a video on how to configure this one, just write it in the comments. I will link the repository in the description. I will also link the official NeoFetch repository and customization documentation in the description. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, just type them in the comments. And I will see you in the next video.